one, it's Mrs. DeGrasa. So this week in math, we're going to learn about measurement. And so I thought it might be fun to kick off the week by reading a story about measurement. We're going to read the story Measuring Penny by Laureen Levy. If you're a dog lover, I think you're really going to enjoy this book. My name is Lisa and my teacher says our next big homework project is to measure something. Mr. Jason says we can measure anything, like a sofa, a television set, or a doll. Measuring homework, due next Tuesday. Choose something to measure. Measure it in as many ways as you can. Height, width, length, weight, volume, temperature, time. Record your results. Include at least one comparison. It is taller than or heavier than. Remember, a measurement always has two parts, a number and a unit. For example, I am six feet tall. Which units can you use? Here are some examples. Some standard units are inches, feet, yards, centimeters, meters, gallons, pounds, minutes. Some non-standard units are paper clips, bricks, frogs, marbles, pencils, toes. Use your imagination. When I got home today, my dog, Penny, jumped all over me as usual. Wow, I could measure Penny for my homework. She is a Boston Terrier and is bigger than a pug and smaller than a Cocker Spaniel. She's about the size of a Shetland Sheepdog. Penny, please stop drooling. Come on, Penny, I'll get a ruler and we'll run over to the park. Look at all the dogs out here today. Hey, get down. I can't believe how many dogs live around here. Fine, I'll measure some of you too. We're supposed to use a standard unit, so let me use inches to see how long your noses are. Stop licking my face. Shetland Sheepdog's nose is four inches long. Penny's nose is one inch long. And the pug's nose is a half an inch long. We, the units we used are inches on this page. I'll measure your tails with a non-standard unit, dog biscuits. Will you please hold still? Penny has the shortest tail. Penny's tail is only one dog biscuit long. The fox terrier is four dog biscuit long. The mixed breed is six dog biscuits long. And the greyhound is 10 dog biscuits long. And that unit was dog biscuits. I'll measure your ears with another non-standard unit. Cotton swabs, don't wiggle so much. The pug's ear is a half a cotton swab long. Penny's ear is one swab long. And the basset hounds is three swabs long. Let's see how wide your paw prints are. I'll turn over my ruler and measure with another standard unit, centimeters. The mixed breed is five centimeters wide. The dachshunds is two and a half centimeters wide. Penny's is three centimeters wide and the Cocker Spaniel is four centimeters long. On this page, our unit was cotton swabs, and on this page, our unit was centimeters. I wanna see how tall you all are. Everybody sit. Penny is 18 inches, which is the same as one and a half feet. The mixed breed is 48 inches tall, which is the same as four feet. The Greyhound is 36 inches tall, which is the same as three feet. The Cocker Spaniel is 24 inches tall, which is the same as two feet, and the Dachshund is 12 inches tall, which is the same as one foot. Our units are inches and feet on this page. Let's see how high you can jump. Penny can jump up to my waist. I could use myself to measure with. The Greyhound was able to jump over her head. The fox terrier was able to jump shoulder high, Penny was able to jump waist high, and the basset hound was able to jump knee high. The Shetland sheepdog was able to jump chest high. And these two, doesn't look like these two were jumping. The unit in this was the girl.
I'm going to follow Penny around all day Saturday to measure how much time I spend taking care of her. Penny's time schedule. 6 a.m. Wake up. 6 to 7. Patrol house. 7 o'clock. Bark to wake up everybody. 7.05. Take a quick walk. 7.10. Eat breakfast. 7.20. Beg for scraps. 8 o'clock. Howl when mom goes out. 8.10. Take a nap. 8.45. Nibble dog biscuits. 12 o'clock or noon. Eat lunch. 12.15. Take nap. 1 o'clock. Gnaw on bone. 1.15. Investigate weird noise in the basement. 2 o'clock. Snooze for a while. 2.30. Bark and run in circles. 2.35. Go for a long walk. 3.45, carry the newspaper in, and at 4 o'clock, I'm going to watch cartoons. I'll make a poster for this part. Taking care of Penny. How much time does it take? Every day, feeding her takes 10 minutes. Brushing her takes 15 seconds. She has short hair. Walking her has five minute, takes 5 minutes in the morning, 30 minutes in the afternoon, and 10 minutes at night. Playing with her takes about a half hour to an hour. And every week, giving her a bath takes 15 minutes to an hour. Clipping her toenails takes 5 minutes. And the units that she used to measure this are hours, minutes, and seconds. I'll measure how quickly Penny can run to different places. She can get from her bed to the kitchen in 6 seconds. Her bed to her dish takes six seconds. Across the backyard takes four seconds. Around the block takes five minutes. To the park takes seven minutes. And to my bus stop takes 15 seconds. And the units are minutes and seconds. Temperature is important to Penny. She doesn't like things that are too hot or too cold. Penny likes to go on longer walks when the weather is nice. It looks like on our graph, 60 degrees is where she spends the most time. So that looks like her favorite temperature. In fact, you can almost tell the temperature outside just by looking at her. Penny the thermometer. At 80 degrees, she looks like this. At 60 degrees, she looks like that. At 40 degrees, now I'm noticing she has a coat on. And at 20 degrees, she's not loving it. At zero degrees, she's inside by the fire. The last thing I'm going to measure Penny with is money. Mom looked through her checkbook to help me figure this out. We decided Penny's kind of expensive. Cost of having Penny. To buy a puppy, it was $275. Food for one year was $400. The vet for one year was $120. Her toys, collar, and etc. were $75. Our units were dollars and cents. But she's worth a lot, too. Value of having Penny. As a burglar alarm, it's worth $1,000. As an exercise machine, she's worth $500. As entertainment, $20 a day. And for love, she's worth a million dollars. Our units are dollars and cents there. I'm sure Mr. Jason will give me a good grade on this measuring project. Penny, maybe we should change your name to Million. All right, my friends, I hope you enjoyed the book. And just, just as a reminder, there are many different ways to measure. We have inches, we have feet, we have yards, and this week you're going to practice with many of them. Have a great week. Bye.